Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. A, and I am back. I can't believe I just said that, but I have returned. Um, there's a lot that we need to talk about. There's a lot that there's a lot that has changed. So, what we're going to be covering in this video is uh, what happened and why I left, what I'm doing now, and um, why I am choosing to do YouTube because I've never actually told anyone that before. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Yeah, this is, this is going to get interesting quick. So some of you may know that uh, in the past few months I was working with Walmart. As a matter of fact, I had been working with them since December of 2021, early December of 2021, and um, I had announced that in the 1st of August, I would be going on vacation uh, for a while, and then I'd be returning. Well, stuff happened just before I went on vacation um, that made it impossible for me to return the time that I wanted to. On July 27th, uh, I was pulled into the manager's office and I was informed that over a six week period of time, five people made open door or anonymous complaints against me. The allegations that were made against me was extremely serious and I didn't know, I didn't know how to react to them, but I was told that it would be a pending investigation and that I'd be informed of any updates. Now, full disclosure, nothing ever came of the investigation. And I'm not going to say what the um, what was said in the discussion with management or what the allegations were that were made against me until I'm full time on YouTube and I don't have to have any worry about anyone trying to frame me for saying stuff, saying things that I shouldn't have. I learned in that that day that I was pulled into the office that I was being targeted and that management was trying to find reasons to get rid of me and possibly even put something on my job record. That's just how I viewed it. Everyone isn't entitled to their own opinion. Um, I don't... With all due respect to the public that sees this, I don't really care about yours. I don't care about yours or anyone else's. On July 27th, I, fa I, I made the decision that I had to leave Walmart. After that day, the vacation that I took was even more needed than before because I was more lost than I had ever been and in two years. I, I hadn't been that lost in two years, and I felt like I was going back to square one. So that hurt a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and get into what I did in my vacation. I have pictures to show. I, I hope you guys don't mind that I show quite a few pictures. But um, at the beginning of my vacation, uh, I picked up my girlfriend, and um, we went out. We, went, we spent the day together for my first day and the second day. And we went to this amazing Asian restaurant that served this really, really good food. Like, I know it's not Michelin star food, but for us and for where we, we are financially, this is really, really high quality food. And then uh, the next morning on uh, the 2nd of August, I went and had uh, breakfast at Cracker Barrel. August 3rd, we're moving along quite quickly. This is already day three of my vacation. Me, a friend, and his mom, we all went out and into Columbus on August 3rd to see Gabriel, Gabriel Iglesias perform at the uh, Ohio State Fair. And we went out to eat at Bob Evans. I know it's nothing fancy, but it was it was still some it was still really nice and really good, really healthy food. And that was the only picture that I got of his show. Because I was afraid to take any other pictures because they said that if we took if we were caught taking pictures or videos we would be thrown out. 
and I didn't want that, so I didn't take any pictures or videos. Later, early on into the afternoon on August 4th, which was technically the last day of my vacation, I um, got into the hotel that I had booked like three weeks in advance. Now, these guys were nice enough uh, to go ahead and let me have the hotel because on the online booking site, it didn't have an ID check if, to see if I was 21. I'm not 21 yet. Uh, I just turned 20 this, this past early September. But um, that was my first hotel. It was really nice. Um, later that night, uh, I picked up me and my brother uh, and his girlfriend and I took us all out to eat at probably one of the highest quality restaurants that uh, we've been, I've ever been to where we literally cook steaks our own steaks however we wanted on uh, 750 degree lava rock and then I came back home and uh, I got in bed king size bed an amazing bed and I had plenty of room to sleep it was one of the best nights sleep I've gotten in, I got in quite a while due to the allegations from Walmart, and I watched TV, and uh, when I was ready to fall asleep, I just turned it off. The next morning, on August 5th, I was going back to work. Now, I still count August 5th and 6th as, as my vacation, because that was the days that I stayed in the hotel, and I went back home on the, on the 7th, which was a Sunday. But uh, you can even see in that picture right there, my uh, stuff off to the left-hand side, I have my case, my pen, my box knife, bag patches and my name tag which thankfully did, I didn't get my name in that. One of the things that didn't end, end up happening is my previous car which my uh, another family member was using to get back and forth to work blew out its gas line and it broke down for quite a while and I spent $250 in gas lines to try to get it fixed but when we actually got under it we found that it was as we were jacking it up in the air the jack actually went through through the lift point, and we jacked it up at the one of the other lift points, and we inspected the bottom of it, and it was quite literally falling apart. So we decided, I decided that it's not even worth fixing, that it's a hazard to the person, whoever uses it, and to the people around me, and, or whoever else drives it, so I just decided to sell it. And during this time, I was actually able to bring my mom home from uh, rehab, because she, she had been in rehab for breaking one of her legs. Now these pictures that you're seeing right now was, um, what had happened is, I had someone trying to race out of a park and head north down the street as I, as I was heading south. And I had to perform what is called the moose test, and I've never performed the moose test at high speeds, higher speeds before. And uh, I overcorrected to the right, and I hit a curb doing 40. And you you can see in here that it, it screwed my entire tire up, and it's thrown my alignment off in my car. I'm still forced to use it, but now I have to get suspension components all the way around my vehicle. Now keep in mind during all this, I'm still trying to apply to uh, other places and see what kind of job openings they have and see what's available for me because I'm still trying to uh, get out of Walmart before they push something else against me. And it's August 31st, which is my brother's birthday. And um, I took him. I took us all out, and we spent the day together on September 2nd of 2022. I'm not going to show my two weeks notice, but I did put my two weeks notice in because I was successfully hired into Olive Garden. And uh, during this time, I believe yes, it was right around that time where I got uh, totes to move my stuff from my parents' house over to my girlfriend's house. That's uh, we ended up moving in later on, uh, but I took my my puppy out for her first car ride and a walk. She she did really really good. She's an elderly dog. She's a rescue dog. Her name's Petals. She she's my little bean, little black bean. Obviously, my last day at Walmart was September 16th. You can see the amount of respect that I had at the entire front end alone. I, I, that's how many signatures I got from the front end alone. Now, that was the last minute thing that the, put, that the front end put together. On September 22nd, me and my girlfriend, I moved in with my girlfriend, 
and we've been living together since, and it's going extremely well. Ever since I got hired into Olive Garden, I've been trying to connect with nature a little bit, which you can see in, in some of the pictures I'm showing right now, because I just, like I said beforehand, I just, I feel so lost. I don't really know what I'm, what I'm doing at the moment because I didn't plan on quitting Walmart until I was ready to go full-time on YouTube, but like the title says, it's life hits hard in many ways. In many different ways. But one of the things that um, happened that I didn't expect to happen at all before is my engine mount broke and I started having um, starter issues. I started, I started blowing crank relays and uh, we took my, the top half of my engine apart to find that wire that you see in the picture right there and we, and we replaced that engine mount. It's a really, it, it's technically a torque strut, but it mounts directly to the engine, so I count it as an engine mount. You, you're, you're welcome to your own opinion. Now, now we're into modern day. That's the pictures that you see right there and all the videos of me that me driving that I've shown so far, all of that happened today. Yeah, that's that's what ha that's what's been happening over the the past few months. It's been extremely busy. It's it's crazy. Now on to the future and what I'm working on right now. Now that I I don't work with Walmart, I can uh, I can freely say what my pay is. My pay was 14 an hour, but I could push my overtime. I'm not gonna say exactly what I was making down to the dollar. I was making enough money to keep me stable, which is. My definition of stable is being able to afford bills while also getting other things that I need and sometimes even want that I don't need, like going out to eat, uh, a new game. That's not None of that is something that I need, but it's something that I want. Olive Garden is a raise. They, one of the things that they didn't discuss with me that I'm, I've now learned to do from now on is the hour cut. There was one point just before my vacation, I worked. 96 and a half hours in two weeks and over here at Olive Garden I'm lucky to be working 60 so I am working a ton less I am working an absolute ton less all of you know who are actually old enough to have jobs that have had jobs for a while that is an absolutely huge pay cut it's not gonna work out in the end so I'm trying to figure out what my next move is, how long I can stay with Olive Garden before I have to switch over jobs and where I can move to. Now that I have my license though, I'm open to more opportunities that's even out of town, even though that I'd be uh, double taxed, I believe. I'm not entirely sure how true that is though. It's It's been crazy, it still is crazy. Uh, I'm living paycheck to paycheck right now and that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable for me at all because it's not gonna let me make progress with YouTube. I can't make any progress with YouTube if I'm not financially stable enough for me to get what I need with for YouTube and uh, learn new things with YouTube. It's That's not something I want to do. I want to get full time on YouTube. Which brings me to the next point. Why am I choosing YouTube over everything else of my future? And to answer that, I gotta go way, way, way back in the years. My father used to be a truck driver. Uh, he took me on the road with him, and I visited 38 different states. In August 21st of 2015, I believe was the date, my father had his work accident, and we didn't realize it, how severe it was until a few more months down the road. But he would never be working again, which my mom hadn't been working since she gave birth to my older brother which was back in 2001. And after she stopped working, her body continued to deteriorate even more than it already was. She was already physically having problems working in 2001 as it is because of her uh, conditions. After she gave birth to my brother, she just decided it was time to call it quits and become a full-time mom, which in the end worked out. Now both my parents are disabled and unable to work. That quickly becomes expensive. That becomes so expensive so quick it immediately made us a low-income family and a uh, low-class family. I've always grown up poor as it is. I never had the best house. In fact, moving in with my girlfriend actually has it several steps above the house that I was living in. Before my father's accident, I discovered three people that I really enjoyed. Popular MMOs and Gaming with Jen, also known as Pat and Jen, and then Jacksepticeye and Markiplier, 
also known as Sean William McLaughlin and Mark Edward Fishbuck. I viewed them as entertainment. That's what I viewed YouTube as uh, in 2015 and most of 2016. 2016, I decided that uh, I wanted to become an astrophysicist because I was really into space and I already had a full ride scholarship at Clark State up to an associate's degree. And I could transfer over to, my plan was to transfer over to Ohio State to get my bachelor's and then move to Arizona State University to get my master's and PhD in astrophysics. And that didn't work out in the end because um, my 9th and 10th grade year was really good. In fact, my 10th grade year was my prime year. I was mostly A's with only one or two B's. That's it. So I was doing really, really good. Now, at this time, my brother was completely different than what he is today. He was angry, he was resentful, he had hatred towards the world, and I still don't fully understand why, but it's his business, not mine. And he's changed, and me and him have the best relationship that we could ever have. So, this is not me hating on him whatsoever, but in 2018, my brother just up and left the house, leaving me to take care of my two disabled parents, as, as I viewed it. But in his eyes, he explained this to me later on, he didn't have a choice to leave. I'm not going to explain why, but he did explain to me why, and he had good reasons, he had good reasons, but... That had me confused and stressed out in a way that I hadn't felt before. I was already starting to work up to YouTube even more, but this was my first dark time because I had already looked at my dad, looked up to my dad for everything because he was fighting. He was fighting so hard to keep the family going and to do what he could to make money and keep us pushing forward and, and keep giving us groceries. I mean, of course, we had help from the government from, uh, uh, EBT and SSI, but that only goes so far, we have to have more. And my dad was doing everything that he could. So, my junior year in high school goes by, I pass with three A's, two B's, and two C's, I believe. So my grades definitely did take a hit, and uh, of course I blamed my brother. Of course I did. But then, just before my senior year came around, I don't even want to say this because it's, it's I'm putting it out there. But my, my dad did something that I never thought that he would do, and I'm not going to say what it is, because uh, this, it was, tw it's, it was 20, uh, 2019 at the time. It was, it was over three years ago. It was mid-2019. This is late 2022. I have forgiven him for what he did, and I'm trying to further take care of him, even though that today he is in the worst shape that he's ever been in, both mentally and physically. But he did something in uh, mid-2019 that just made me lose all respect for him. And I stopped looking up to him altogether. And at that point, I had no one. Because me, me and my brother didn't talk at all. I stopped talking to my dad. My mom was battling depression so hard that if I was to talk to her about anything, it wouldn't make her worse. So I couldn't talk to her about anything. I got into a psychiatrist and I don't even remember what I was diagnosed with, but I was diagnosed with a type of depression. And I turned to YouTube. I, I became so addicted to YouTube that I would spend hours a day on it. And unfortunately, I believe this is where Pat and Jen had their downfall and uh, Pat's channel just took a nosedive and it's still not in the best place. I stopped watching him too, to be honest, but he will always have my respect no matter what happens. And you guys can think what you want about that too. It's not going to change my, my opinion. I'm entitled to my own opinion just as much as you're entitled to yours. We can all believe what we want to believe and still remain friends and still get along as a community, but... Mark and Jack saved me. Um, I still partially have this mindset. There was a few nights, actually about a week, where I just thought, what, wh why am I here? Like, what's the point? Because I graduated uh, high school, because I'm, I was the COVID class, obviously, because COVID hit Ohio in um, late 2019, and then all schools shut down. In early 2020 and we never went back 
and I was having Wi-Fi issues, I was having email issues, and my teachers let me pass. I didn't pass with good grades. They gave me good grades. I didn't deserve good grades, and that traumatized me, and I'm, I'm never going back to school again. I don't ever plan to. Unless it's YouTube, YouTube related, I'm not going back. And it's because of that I was just like, what's the point in me living anymore? Why am I here? What is my purpose? I don't serve a purpose right now, and I'm not going to serve a purpose in the future. This, this strike me down, God, give me a heart attack, give me a stroke, make me brain dead. I can't take my own life because my friends, I have too many friends, and they'll all be saddened that I decided to suicide. It would be much easier on myself and my family if something natural happened to me. Just end me. Bring me back to you. That's where I was. And I was like that for weeks. Even after I got my first job in late 2020, I still had no clue what I was doing. But it was in early 2021 that I looked at Mark and, Mark and Jack completely differently. And I was like, why not be like them? Which brings me to the conclusion of why I want to be on YouTube. I want to grow this channel up into, the, up into the millions and save people by the millions like how Mark and Jack did me. I want to meet you guys face to face and I want to save the future generation because humanity is either going to be the downfall of this world, we're all going to destroy each other, or we're going to, humanity may be the only hope for the world at the same time. And I want to be the hope for the, part of the hope for the world like how Mark and Jack is. They saved me, so I want to save you. That is why I want to do YouTube. And then I also want to become my own boss. That's number two. And number three is I want to have fun and enjoy what I do in my life. But my number one reason is I want to save people by the millions. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that it's been just 30 minutes of me talking. Well, I've been recording my voice for 30 minutes on my computer, but it's going to be edited down and it's going to be different. Oh, one more thing. I no longer have a set schedule with me working at Olive Garden. I don't know when I'm going to upload. I don't know when I'm going to be able to upload because I'm super busy even on my days off. I got my family to take care of. I got a house to take care of. I got money to make because I'm donating my own plasma right now to help myself get by. But I'm back. I'll upload when I can. I got to focus on myself first and to get into a better place. And I'll focus on YouTube a little bit more. I will talk to you guys another time. Uh, thank you guys and those who stayed throughout the entire video just to listen to me. I'm sorry that it's been so long since I've been on here. In the future, I'll, uh, when I have a lot more popular of a channel, I'll revisit this video to see what it was like and what my thoughts are on it. But I'll talk to you guys another time. I love you guys, thank you for putting up with me, and have a good day. Bye bye.